This is Gripster, a suction cup designed to grip not just smooth flat surfaces, but awkward ones too. Like this corner right here. It's taken a lot of trial and error, but let me show you how we got here. Traditional suction cups? They're great for flat surfaces like windows or tiles. But when you try them on a corner or something uneven, they fail. I needed something that could handle real world surfaces. This is where the challenge began. My goal was simple, to create something that could grip anything. Corners, cylinders, any surface I threw at it. But achieving that would take some serious outside the box thinking. And that's when I stumbled upon the perfect inspiration. James Bruton's jamming gripper and Jay Laser's climbing rig lit a spark. James Bruton made an excellent example of a jamming gripper, which uses a bunch of BBs in an elastic container under vacuum to grip objects and Jay Laser built vacuum packs he mounted to his arms and legs so he could climb walls. I'll link to their video in the description. These two devices solve gripping problems in such creative ways. What if I combined their ideas into something new? And that's how Gripster was born. The rim, it's a soft silicone bag filled with BBs that hardens to the shape of whatever it touches when you pull vacuum, while the suction inside the cup holds it to the surface. It sounds straightforward, but getting it right was a different story. Let's just say I had more than my fair share of setbacks. The first disaster was mold one. I was going to make two tubes out of silicone that I would bond together. Here I am gluing together the core for mold one. Then I taped together the outer shell, and finally I injected the whole thing with silicone. Demolding this was a bear. I totally botched making the design easy to take apart. Look. Look at my struggles, my fruitless struggles. <laughs> Eventually I went on to mold two. Luckily, the second mold incorporated some of the lessons learned and went a lot better. Here I'm pouring the first half of basically half a torus. I'll pour the other half and then connect them together. It came out surprisingly well. There was even air trapped inside the donut, confirming that it was well sealed and there were no holes. And of course, now that I spent all that time trying to make sure there were no holes, I had to put a hole in it to get the BBs in and for pulling vacuum on the donut. And now I could test the jamming. This part was so satisfying. At the beginning, the donut is super floppy, but the minute you turn on the vacuum, it turns into this semi-solid state. It was a lot of fun to play with. Now that we have the rim, we need the top, so I quickly whipped one up and printed it out in TPU, which is flexible. And there was nothing left to do but connect it up and test it. And of course, it totally didn't work. I was hoping the top piece would kind of seal onto the rim, the vacuum inside would get stronger, and it would suck onto the work pad. This was demoralizing. I decided to sleep on it and go back to the drawing board the next day. I woke up with an idea. I would add a membrane on top to make sure everything was sealed. I placed the rim in a flat mold and poured a thin layer of silicone to make a membrane. It came out really well, apart from its resemblance to some... Well, anyway, it was time to see if this would work. I figured I would also need something to hold up the membrane from collapsing and not providing enough suction. I printed out this honeycomb to prevent the suction cup from just bottoming out. And the result was wonderful.
All right, the moment of truth. If you'd like to see more inventions like this, please join the Patreon, like, and subscribe.